Good morning, VC. I just woke up. It's 10 a.m., which is pretty pretty late for me. I worked late last night. So, anyway, I have a couple things here. I'd like to. Uh, I'm not going to share any records or music or anything with you today. Um, this is more like an advice type of type of thing. And my record store day list. Okay, first and foremost, I'm going to order some Blake sleeves to protect the outside of my records. Um, after seeing what Derek's, I mean, they're, they're really they're great. You know, I, I think they're great quality and they look great too. So, um, I noticed like the uh, regular poly bags that you, that you can put them in. They kind of get, um, I don't know, I want to say hazy, maybe a little hazy or a little uh, filmy or whatever. And I think that would just the Blake sleeves would just really make them pop and look a lot cleaner, neater while they're in, you know, in the stacks there. Um, but my question is, okay, here's what I've been doing. I've been buying the Mobile Fidelity Sound Labs. Um, High quality inner sleeves for my uh, records, um, and they most of my gems, I guess you could say, in my collection are in those um, MoFi sleeves. But then you have those records that you find at thrift stores or um, what, crate digging, garage sales, yard sales, things like that. That you know they're in in good shape, but you know when you pull them out, they're full of uh, you know cat hair and uh, various debris and you know tobacco or whatever, you know, like just the crazy stuff that you find on the inside of your uh, records. Um, so uh, in, in the industry, you don't want to clean them and put them back into that sleeve. And you don't want to necessarily spend the money if it's like a dollar record that's not really, you know, worth much. It's just great to have in your collection, you know, as filler or just part of like the core collection. Um, I've used paper sleeves in the past and I'm thinking about maybe doing that again. Because you can get like a package of 50 from the Needle Doctor for about, I think, five bucks. So they're pretty cheap. Um, I have used the Polyline paper sleeves in the past, which have worked great. I have never had any problems with those. I got some pretty good, decent records in, inside of those sleeves as well. Um, so, no, I, you know, I'm kind of trying to cut back a little bit on my spending as far as, uh, you know, the unessentials go, you know what I mean? Um, I'm going to continue to use the MoFi sleeves for, like, the, my really... You know my choice records, I guess you could say. Um, but as far as you know, a decent inner sleeve for a decent price, maybe you can direct me somewhere. Um, yeah, I'm just thinking about getting some fresh paper sleeves. But see, the thing about paper that I've heard and I haven't really noticed yet so far because I have used these. Um, you know, they can break down over time. Um, they can scratch your records if you if you take them in and out frequently and things like that. So I don't, I don't want any of that to happen. But you know. If it's a dollar or fifty cent record that I get at a garage sale or something that's you know in decent shape, you know sounds good, and just has a really ratty inner sleeve, I think maybe that's the direction I'll go. But again, I'm turning to you for advice. Um, so yeah, let me know what you think. And uh, okay, record store day 2012. Um, I just kind of reviewed the list. Um, I've been glancing at it here and there, but um, I came up with a short list of things that I'd like to get. Um, and most of it's pretty mainstream. I'm going to read it off to you. Um, Paul McCartney, there's a seven inch single for, um, I think it's another day. Um, uh, post Beatles, obviously, uh, Coldplay, there's a seven inch, um, Towns Van Zandt LPs, uh, being released as probably just a standard reissue, uh, Florence and the Machine single, um, the Stax box set. I'm kind of looking, I might actually pull the trigger on, you know, if I can find it. I really love the Stax sound and, you know, the majority of the music that has come on the label in the past. Um, there's a Miles Davis LP, uh, Iggy and the Stooges Raw Power reissue. Um, there's, I think it's a double LP actually. It's just the standard record and there's a remix, I believe that's what it is. I'm not sure. Don't quote me on that. Uh, Little Richard, here's Little Richard. I don't have any Little Richard. I have a, a couple of Little, uh, Little Richard 78s that are, you know, I don't have any way of listening to them, but it'd be cool just to have, you know, a clean Little Richard album because, you know, you got to listen to some of that every now and then. And then Janis Joplin Pearl, I don't have that on vinyl. Um, it's kind of one of those core records you should have. But um, I don't know if it's any different than just a regular reissue of that album. And uh, there's some a uh, few other things that kind of caught my eye. There's a Wilco box set that I was thinking about pulling the trigger on. I know it's like a hundred bucks. Um, we'll see. Um, I, I, I'm a big fan of Wilco, but I don't know about you know dropping hundred bucks on record store day on one item. Even though it would be cool, um, I could spend $100 and buy several um, items. I'm going to go to the Electric Fetus uh, in Minneapolis. Uh, they usually have something really cool going on. They, you know, they serve food and all kinds of things. They get, have giveaways and prizes and you know, 
music, like little, you know, in-store performances and things like that. So I'm going to go there. Um, it's going to be really fun. Um, and I'm sure they're going to have other sales. Like they usually have something like on regular store day, like additional 20% off of regular stock items and things like that. So I'm probably going to be digging through the bins. Um, they have a great um, recent arrivals bin and stuff like that too, uh, for used records and stuff like that. So um, they get some good stuff. But if there's anything else that you think, you know, that I'm, you know, I mean, I, like I said, nothing's really catching my eye, um, like past record store days, so. But um, I'll go for it and see what I can get, and maybe there's some other things that I'm not even aware of that are going to be there. Uh, anyway, that's it, guys. Uh, let me know your thoughts. Leave me some comments. Say hello. Uh, I'll try to get back to you as soon as I can. Thank you.